I swear, with this team, sometimes it feels like what can go wrong <laughs> will go wrong. What's up, Eagles Nation? What's going on, NFL World? How you doing, Division Rivals? This is Steven Heider, Gate City Sports Channel. Sports Channel, where the cerebral NFL fan comes for about 10 minutes of daily content. Good evening, everybody. Second video today. News broke. You guys probably are aware at this point in time that Quez Watkins and Jason Hunt Lee, they tested positive. And that that's a, that puts a little, you know, a wrench in the plans here. Let's, let's just be honest. I mean, Quez Watkins was, still is, having a pretty good season. Maybe a lot of the other fan bases around the league may not know who he is. I mean, internally here in Philadelphia, we know. This young man has already eclipsed 30 receptions and over 490 yards. He's well on pace to get 40 catches and 500 yards on the season. You know, a lot of attention has been given to Devontae Smith, and it should because Devontae Smith has been pretty good. You know, Devontae is on track to have... Potentially, I mean, he's got to realize it. He has the possibility to, to have an over 1,000-yard season. With that said, I mean, even if he falls short of that, having two receivers over 500 yards receiving on the season, it's been a long time since we had two wide receivers in particular with those kind of stat lines. So, Quest was having a really good season and still having a really good season, we should say. This is, uh, it's kind of tough, right, because... I don't know if this is going to be just two negative test results. So if he's vaccinated, he just needs two negative test results. If he's not vaccinated, guys, it's 10 days. He's automatically out for the Washington game. We won't know until later on in the week, guys. I mean, obviously, I'm not made privy to that kind of information. Disappointing because the next man up is going to be Jalen Rager. And we're going to need production, man. I mean, we can't keep having this where it's only Dallas Goddard. It's only you know, Miles Sanders and the running back by committee that we have going on, and, and it's only Devontae Smith. I mean, somebody else from the receiving core has got to step up, man. Quez has kind of been doing that. So if it's Rager, if it's J.J. Arthur, white side, if it's Greg Ward Jr., somebody has to step up, man. It's, this is not enough to, to really put the burden of the offense only on a couple of guys. Like, it makes you easy to scheme away. Luckily, our offensive line is so good that even when teams know it's coming, we're just so good at blocking the run that we take advantage of teams. Nick's done a really good job of, of keeping similar formations but hitting you with different looks out of those formations. Sometimes he'll even give you the same play, like a tight end screen or a running back screen, but he'll switch up the formation so you don't see it coming out of 12 or 13, man. Now he's got you in 11 and it's the same play. He's, you know, So far, we've, we've gotten by by being able to do that. Somebody has to step up though, man. I mean, how long can you get away with that? You know what I mean? Like at some point, other guys have got to make plays on this team. We'll see, man, because if Quez can't go this Sunday, that means between Rager, JJ, Greg Ward Jr., maybe a call up to a guy like John Hightower from the practice squad, somebody's got to do something. Somebody's got to make plays in this game, man. We can't just put it all on Devontae Smith. We can't just put it all on Dallas Goddard and then the running backs and just say, well, I guess that's enough to win. Yeah, maybe you come up smelling like roses a few times doing that. But go back to it too many times, guys. Eventually, you're going to get burnt. All right, y'all. I appreciate your time and attention. I'll catch you guys on the next video.